Hey y'all, it's Kate with Follow My Leaf. I've got a lot of anthurium to repot today and some roots to tackle, so let's get to it. I thought I was just gonna do moss on top of all my anthurium, but I kinda wanna check out the roots of my pedoteradium, anthurium fingers. This is the newest leaf. Let's do it. I've got a slightly bigger clear pot here. We'll put that off to the side and check it out. <laughs> Look at those noodles. So cute. Yeah, this mix is a little heavy for it. And I just watered it so it's super heavy. Okay, Ooh, there's a little dirt plug, and everything looks healthy in there, so I don't, I don't need to mess with it too much. There's a tiny little baby popping up right here. How cute! A little leaf, oh, so hefty. All right, do the root check in the pot. It's actually almost too small. Should I even upsize it? I'm gonna see what it looks like. Okay, let's just check. Okay, I'm gonna do it. repot it for a while and I'll have more room for the moss that I like to put on top. Where's that baby? So I'm just going to dump this Instead of watering it, I'm just going to put this on here. I don't need to squeeze it, squeeze the water out. And I'll call that one done. Okay. That is where it was before. And now it's got a bigger pot. It's got the lights that are not on right now. And I should be happy there. All right, I'm just going to stuff some moss onto my anthurium, the main one that needs it right now. I mean, they all need it, but this crystalline, crystalline really needs it. This is my biggest anthurium. I thought this was a leaf, but I'm pretty sure it's another inflorescence. There's a leaf coming here see but it's like really dry since I took its moss away um, I need to repot this its roots probably look like that other I probably am gonna have to break this pot to get them out which is kind of sad because I like this pot it's like a pineapple Ooh, is that another one coming out yes I think that's going to be a leaf. Oh, thank- oops, hello. <laughs> thank goodness. Thank goodness. This was supposedly Azimax that burned these holes. Somebody online said it was- I had just treated it with Azimax and then these popped up, so beware. That can happen. Okay. That one is dressed and ready for the ball. And precarious. Very precarious. Okay, I turned the light on, so maybe you can see things now. Beachy eye. 
doing pretty good. It hasn't given me a new leaf in a while, but the last one it did give me, biggest one right there, cute. Just gonna give it some moss on the top again. Next up, Radicans by Luxurians. Da, da, da. I'll have to do a thin layer. There's a nice root going in toward the soil, but it's not like there yet. Oh my god, ready for this? <laughs> nice. Nice roots. I should repot this before I can't get these roots out anymore. This is turning into an anthurium. Um, what do you call it? Long race, three parts. It's not a sprint, it's And like never seen the dirt. Just hanging out. Boy, so nice. Look at it. Look at Look at that. Like, I mean, these just grow interesting, but. They're becoming really popular now because they're so affordable. Look at that. So full. And it's not gonna fit in that little decorative pot anymore. That's for sure. So this is Do I put it back in here? It's something that was... Hold on. Okay, so it was in here. <laughs> and I could put it here. And the next size up is pretty big. I don't know if I want to do that. I don't have the space for all of these to become monsters yet. Okay, I'll just put it in this. This will be fine. Shimmy some more. Some more down there. Because I'm out of potty mix. Okay. Now when I put the moss in here, those little roots We'll dig right into it and go down into the soil and be all cute. <laughs> okay. There's Luxurians by, I'm sorry, Radicans by Luxurians. Very attractive foliage. This is a regular Luxurians Silver, is what I bought it as. 
Some people say there's no such thing and this is just a baby luxuriance leaf. I don't know. Came from Peru and it was only 60 bucks and I don't have a luxuriance anyway. So I figured even if it was just a lux, that's okay because I needed one anyway. But if you have a luxuriance baby leaf that actually was that silver, let me know because everybody's like oh that's just a baby leaf but nobody's like showing them to me so here's the the lux times radiance radicans sorry luxuriance by radicans and here's the silver so i don't know i'm just gonna pop some moss on it Okay, and the next one I'm really excited to show you it came in the same order as this like a month ago, a couple months ago, and I shot a video and I never posted it. And it has a new leaf. Oh, it has a new leaf. I'm so excited. Well, they're calling it Anthurium Shapaha Silver. So it's got a bluey, silvery, it's mostly blue tint to it. Um, I was sad each leaf came with a mark, like shipping was really bad with this one. This was a baby leaf when it shipped and it got really beat up in the mail, like customs or whatever. It wasn't packaged very well. It, it, it didn't really have any packaging. This was like in a plastic bag in a box. So I was pretty disappointed, but I have my first leaf and it's pristine. And so, you know, that helps that this was the last leaf and this is the new leaf. So, um, I need to learn my plant anatomy again, but I love this ridge. It's like submarginal ridge or something like that. You know, that kind of a sucker for those lately and this has it as well but I did buy it because of the silver color and his listing on eBay was definitely like the photo was doctored I think to be more blue than it actually is but you know I'm over it it's a pretty plant. So we'll just dress it up a little bit. Okay. And put it back with its friends. Thirty-five degrees. My husband fixed. I'm sorry. Thirty-five um, humidity. My husband fixed the whole house humidifier. This Waraquinum I've had for months, and these are both new leaves, I think. And this is finally new growth. Oh, it's taken forever. And I'm out of <gasps> mix. What's that? Is that another one coming? What is that? It might just be roots. Never mind. It's just roots. I'm gonna go get some more uh, moss so we can finish this up. And I think I'm gonna change its pot to this blue one. Give it some moss. And call it good. I really like these pots. That's where she lives. Okay, who's next? This is Metallicum. And I'm really proud of this one too because it finally 
is giving me a new leaf. I got this at the same time as the VTI and it's just been super slow growing. I think I watered it recently, so I'll just give it some toss. Awesome, so this leaf looks nice. One of the originals. This is too, I think it had a fungus. I sprayed it. And there's the new guy coming. Cool, cool, cool. Gotta keep it moist. Gotta keep it happy. I need to find a better pot for it, but I'll do that later. My forgetty eye silver. Nice roots. This is a really easy going plant if you're looking for a, a velvet leaf. I think I had a spider mite issue or something, I don't know. I treated it, it's fine now. Easy going plant. And it's winter, so it hasn't given me much except that big new leaf. That was a while ago. Okay. Looking good. I think I'll give it a little bit to the Syngonium elbow. Use up my moss. This is a really pretty plant for $12. It's got a new leaf coming. A really easy care if you want to get an affordable elbow to try. Look at this leaf. Okay, let's see, she goes in there, this is a Dubai, this is a new leaf come in, look, Plamonii Silver Philodendron, and while I'm here, can I just show you my Brazil colors, look at this, I guess the camera doesn't do it justice, but it's looking really nice. Silver stripe. Let's see. I think that's it. Show off my pink princess real quick. She's got some new leaves. This was cuttings I did videos on. And then I planted all the cuttings together and now they're throwing pink finally. Where am I gonna put this? For now up there all right I'm gonna voice over this last plant because I filmed it well the TV was going in the background and it was kind of annoying so this is an anthurium falcatum and I just unboxed this in my last video with a clara malens as well I got this from a Facebook seller and it has really nice roots but I don't like things living in moss forever because it's just a pain to get the moss off of the roots. So I thought I'd film my journey here, <laughs> taking the moss off the roots. I'd actually already started uh, at the bottom, taking quite a bit of moss off and there's 20 more minutes to go, but I sped it up. So it's less than five, but if you want to skip ahead about five minutes, you can skip this for sure. Uh, I was going to do an ASMR video out of this but then I realized um, because the TV was on in the background I don't think it would work I'll just do this real quick get it potted up and then we'll move on okay. 
Something I forgot to mention earlier in this video was the reason that I had removed all the moss from my anthuriums in the first place on the, t on the top of the soil. And that's because I treated everybody with a systemic granule pesticide. Unfortunately, I brought home a plant from a local shop that had thrips really bad. The plant seemed to have thrips pretty bad and I saw a lot of adults crawling. So um, I treated everything in the vicinity and hopefully that will take care of any spreading it had done in the past two weeks. So I had removed the moss, applied the granules, watered thoroughly, and then I needed to put the moss back. But because of the threat of thrips in the moss itself, I wanted to throw it all away and start fresh. So that's what I did with all of those plants. I also thought I could just take a quick minute to talk about my channel and where it's at. Uh, I started doing videos four or five months ago in the summer and I'm uh, about a third of the way to my first thousand subscribers, so that's exciting. Every single one helps and makes my day, so if you have time to hit subscribe, I do appreciate it. Um, and I'm really just trying to find my place here uh, between trying to do something I enjoy and trying to make content that people find really interesting um, is where I'm at. So I don't want to make videos that are too long, but I don't want to cut out all the good stuff either and make super short videos just because some people don't have the attention span. So I'm struggling with that a little bit. You know, my tagline is I'm a plant mom and a boy mom parenting both full time. So I started this channel because I thought, you know, I'm doing plant stuff. Why shouldn't I share what I'm doing online? Somebody will think it's interesting. <laughs> but also because I know there are parents out there, uh, a lot of moms that I know that are into plants and there isn't any content out there showing that. So I don't make it all about Anthony, but the fact is it's it's just harder to keep up your plant collection and film and edit videos when you have a little guy running around. <laughs> so I thought somebody can relate to this. Why don't I get it out there? I imagine this has lost me some subscribers too because I feel like a lot of plant people are just like young and hip and have pets and don't want anything to do with children. So I was there uh, 10 years ago or three years ago, <laughs> I was there. Um, so I hope that content doesn't drive people away, but if it does, I just need to get over it because this is who I am, this is what I'm doing, and you know, you can't make everyone happy. I struggle with that as a Virgo. Um, I'm pretty sensitive, so having a rise in subscribers and then actually seeing some people unsubscribe, I was like, no. The other thing is, well, selfishly, it's cute to watch him grow up and someday I'll look back on his videos with him in it and say, wow, these are really cute. Um, if something ever happened to me, he could come back and go, look at all this content I have of my mom, too. But the other thing I never talk about and I keep filming videos and then I keep not posting them is that I have chronic fatigue syndrome from long haul COVID. So on top of the one-year-old running around with him, um, my energy is just super limited. And that's held me back in a few ways, but mainly it just, it, it affects how I take care of my plants and how much time I have to, to take care of them and to make videos and edit videos. And if I didn't have chronic fatigue, I would be more ambitious about like doing better video editing and learning a new program. Like I use iMovie and I know it sounds silly, like most people use something better, but I don't have the energy to learn that right now. And I, I kind of even tried and it's just, it's just better for me to, right now to do something I'm comfortable with. So that's what I do. That's my whole goal in this is to not stress out too much, just to enjoy it and put content out and hopefully other people enjoy it too. 
So I'm stressing mostly because I keep filming stuff and then I don't get it edited and I don't get it up. I have videos right now for a local greenhouse tour for the city greenhouse, a Monstera Albo that I brought home from there, um, and some others, but now I really want to film um, putting up hanging plants. My husband installed bars for me to hang some plants. And it's like this whole process I could show you of me picking out which ones to do and which ones to hang. And it's just the whole thing is exhausting even thinking about it. <laughs> so I'm just doing my best. I'm trying to get a video out at least every two weeks. Um, I would love to do more, but that's where I'm at. And hopefully somebody can relate to that too. I know after COVID, there's a lot of people who have long haul COVID. That's what I have. And that's why I am tired all the time. And sometimes I'm low energy and sometimes I look like I haven't showered for three days because I haven't. <laughs> but plants just give me that motivation to get up and do something. And when I'm doing something, I figure I might as well film it for you guys to go along with me and enjoy my plant collection hobby uh, as I do. So I hope you do enjoy it. I'm sorry to have rambled this long. I did not intend for that to happen, but if you're still with me, I appreciate you very much. <laughs> and if you are subscribed, I doubly appreciate you. And if you are going to subscribe, thank you so much. Like every single number going up makes my day. So thank you and I'm gonna be quiet now. Okay, I'm feeling really good about all of these replanted anthurium. I think they look really nice and they'll appreciate having a little love and care, a little moss. Okay, since I covered all my other anthurium, I just want to throw in these guys real quick so that all my anthurium are in one video documented so that I can look back next year and see how big they grew. I've got two gris seals here. I got as tiny little seedlings a few months ago from a guy in Chicago. And somebody called them the baby maker. And I didn't understand it, but this tiny little baby Gracile, I think already has her first inflorescence. Look at that. Look how tiny it is. <laughs> oh, you go girl. This is Viterifolium. Doing nicely. And it had a little brother not doing so nice. I put it in this box. My other strap leaf is a Wendling Geary by Scherzerianum. This was, this is a very dramatic plant for me. It keeps having a leaf come and then die. So this one's the newest, I'm just glad it's here, but it dropped a leaf before it came. So I'm just trying to keep it alive at this point, trying to keep it, its root system growing, and I think it is. I think I'm out of the woods with it, knock knock. Um, th so this hopefully will have an inflorescence that's like a pig's tail, originally cultivated from NSE Enid, NSE Tropicals. And then here I've got Aquira Malense, and it's got a baby leaf coming. The mature form of these are just stunning, so I'm hoping I can keep this happy. The seller said it has to have high humidity, so I put it in my my little cube here. <clears throat> and this is a Amedrium medium silver. That's not an anthurium, but I really like that plant, so I propped a runner from it. So that's like my little high maintenance dome area. thrifted that thing. Alright, this is Blue Magnificum by Pappy. Papillolanium, I think that's how you say it. This big new leaf is the newest, I think. And I should probably transfer this to soil soon, too. 
Doriaki by Red Crystallinum. So hoping for round little leaves with red sinus. And this is Anthurium Magnificum by Doc Block. I emailed them to see which Doc Block it might be, and they said it's an F2, which is kind of like unnamed, but it's got red in the sinus. And this is a new leaf I'm excited to show. My first one in my care. This is from Canopy Plants in New Orleans. Doing pretty well. So for my seedlings, I just cut um, holes in the bottom of little solo cups, put them in here, and then I water with nutrients this pan, and then it sucks it up, basically bottom watering. And it's working out really well. Because I'm pretty bad about letting like sphagnum moss dry out. So the easiest thing for me to do is just water this pan and then they're all happy. And last but not least is a red andrianum. I've got one and I've got a pink one way over there by the TV, which was my first ever house plant I had in college. Not that exact plant, but 16 years ago or whatever it was. Um, I had a beautiful pink anthurium and I let my roommate take it while I went on vacation and then she told me that I'd said she could keep it so she's never gave it back. But I have quite a collection now so I'm over that and my next video will be chopping up this beautiful Monstera Albo. There are two plants here, big sister, little sister. And I need to cut it up. There's some nodes here. There's a great root system here. And then there's a ton of nodes with like amazing roots, aerial roots happening. So that'll be my next video. Hopefully you'll subscribe to see that one. If you're still with us, thanks so much for watching. I hope you hit the bell and subscribe so we can see you next time. Happy planting.